Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in because this is an experiment and this is going to be a reaction to episode six. I mean, sorry, no, no, no. A reaction to episode seven of season one of Fruits Basket. Last episode, we got a whole bunch of stuff. We got Yuki in a dress because um, all of the third years wanted to see him in a dress because they just wanted their fan service dreams to be fulfilled. Yuki, super embarrassed, poor guy. And then we got the uh, the official introduction of two new Soma members, uh, Hattori Soma, the family doctor, and Momiji, the, the son of the CEO of the building that Toru works at, who is also half German, half Japanese. Um, and he's my favorite character and I love him very much. But we also got some insight into Uo and Hana, who love that Toru is their best friend, but they want to be able to help Toru as well because Toru has done so much for them. And believe me, she has. Hana could discover the Soma family secret at literally any time because she has her psychic waves. <laughs> and I mean, Uo just wants to look out for her because those two are her family, like her real family. And I love that they stayed the night. That was adorable and sweet. So yeah, now episode seven, Toru has been summoned to the Soma main house to talk with Hattori for some reason. And he definitely threatened her. He definitely said, you, you probably know what happens if you don't want to come. She's like, oh, Yugi just told me to stay away from you, but I have to. Because Hattori, little known fact, can, is the one that suppresses memories. So. I wonder what he's here to do. Without further ado, let's get into this. I'd say Kyo's hissy fit has shown us just how much a part of the household Taurus become. Yep. Wow. Here we go. I'm sorry, you startled me. <laughs> yeah, it's like a village in there. It's a village. That's how big the Soma family is. Almost like nobody actually lives here. Mm. Sort of peaceful. Sure. Oh, that's also making me nervous. Very imposing, I think. Bring us something to drink. Yeah. Does, does Momiji live with Hattori? Oh, speaking of which, while the intro is playing, I don't think I mentioned this last episode. Hattori is voiced by Kent Williams, who by the way, I have mistaken for so many bad guys over the over the years because I have mistaken him for John Swasey, who plays both All for One and Father from Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. Kent Williams plays like the foil of Father. Kent Williams plays Von Hohenheim. So, you know, like the good version. And he also plays Mr. Compress in My My Hero Academia. He also, if any of you guys watch Ruby, plays Blake's dad. So, you know, he's a very homey, sweet person. So the fact that he's playing a very cold person here is like, I don't know, I, I like it. A lot of people like, like diverting from, I guess, what they've been typecast as over the years. So, I like it. Very medical. It's like, this is my home, but it is also my office. I am one of those people. <laughs> Oh. It's kind of surprising to see a woman's photograph on his desk. <laughs> Though half my job is babysitting its head. Constantly getting oh. sick is Akito's specialty. Yeah. Huh? They're getting ready for New Year's. Oh, yeah. The members of the main family are on the inside. Mm -hmm. Remember the tree-lined road? The one that leads to the front gate? We call the residents of that area outside. Here. See, it's a village. There are another 50 living on the inside. And all 150 of us are Somas! You see? Really big family. Like a full two-thirds aren't aware of the Zodiac secret. Yep. <sighs> uh, yes, I do. I recommend moving out immediately. Jeez. Looked kind of monstrous right there. Monstrous. Loathsome. Cursed. Mm-hmm. Leave before you regret ever associating with the Somas. I can hear Hohenheim. Akito is trying to use you. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> What's his reasoning? Cursed? What do you mean by that? It's a curse. Hattori is almost entirely blind in his left eye. Right. Her name was Kana. She yeah. was really nice. Mm -hmm. But Akito got angry. But you know what? Hari never blamed Akito. Why not? Because that's the curse. Faith, are you crying? Yeah, I mean, what did you expect, Momiji? I'm glad I met all of you. Even if Hattori's right, and I'm being used for some reason, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be who I am now. And me too? Huh? Of course you. Of course. Of course I am. Momiji, I love you. I promise we're not using Toru. Oh, Shigure! My gut, he told me to come, Toru. It's a novelist thing. <laughs> 
never guess it, but those two are best friends. Yes, <laughs> yes, they are. I told you that if you came here, I would surrender the camera to you. If you don't show up, I trust you know what'll happen. Um. Nobody said it all. Yeah. Then introduced you to Akito. Um, it's okay, really. I yeah. After what you just heard, just like leave, leave quietly. <laughs> Which of the spirits are you? <laughs> and tell them every embarrassing thing you've done since you were four. Right? Lip seal. <laughs> All I did was- Hattori is like the tallest. The dance rehearsal to get to. Exactly. Yes, it's sort of like a ritual we perform every New Year's. Since it's Year of the Rabbit next. I want to see the dance so bad though. Is it true that you're best friends? You and Shigure? Us? Best friends? I'm stuck with him, that's all. Oh yeah, you're definitely best friends. <laughs> Oh! Nope. Whoops. Yeah. Uh. Uh, what do we do? Water. Water. <laughs> Water. This brings back memories. Does it? <laughs> I'm Kanasoma. Oh, such a nice voice. I've always found it strange that we've never spoken to each other, even though we're a part of the same clan. So she's one of the ones that doesn't know about the curse? Yeah, on the outside. She doesn't know. What comes of snow when it melts? The answer to that is obviously water. Uh, the answer is spring comes. Spring. She was my spring. There's a reason why I referred to Hattori as cold as ice. Because of this. And frozen. I was snow. But then Kana came into my life. A fresh, bright spring. I should have said snow. <laughs> Cold as winter, maybe. I fell in love, like it was the only logical thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Putting a real seahorse or sea dragon in the bath like that. You see, he's year of the dragon, basically. Don't reject me for knowing. See, I want to be with you. <sighs> I wept. Of course. Like a river of snow melted by the first breath of spring. Which is why it's just. Awful that it ended up like this. I was condensing a lifetime of happiness into a handful of weeks. <gasps> you think I'll give him to someone like you? Wait, you can't even let the curse! We don't need you! <laughs> You're the one to blame! It's your fault if I'm going to blind you! Hear me? It's all your fault! It's all your fault! It's all your fault! <sighs> Holy crap! Akito is the curse. A curse upon any person. The poor girl's only suffering because she remembers her time with you. Her love for you. Don't you owe her this much at least to save her from that agony? What she really wants deep down is to be set free from your love. Give her that freedom. If only we'd never met. It's Akito's fault. Went for blindly following orders. Yuki. We're stripping away people's memories, regardless of how. I'm not gonna say, but. Erase with my own hands the memories most precious to me. You try to stray away from Akito, you do this. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Whoa. That was a cool animation. The bandages coming off of his eye, like. Like, everything's okay now, according to Akito's wishes. Like, his burdens went away from with the bandages as, as soon as- I'll be snow in a world without spring. Oh, that's- Frozen. That's not fair. It's on my zodiac form. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Kana. Thanks, Mayuko. Well, what's the lucky man like? His face isn't quite as handsome as Hattori, so he was the man of my dreams, even if he never felt the same. Fun to tell him hi while I was visiting. Easy, you've already got a man. Turn your head, girl! That's not fair! She found happiness. Yeah. I'm glad. Good! What comes of snow when it melts? Ask her. Tell me. What do you suppose comes of snow when it melts? Spring. Spring comes. No matter how cold it is now, spring will come again. It never fails. See, Pretty mysterious, huh? That's why 
he decides to trust her because she gave the same answer. You're still here, slow pokes. You're still here? For inviting me to visit. Yeah, see, there's a smile. Melt the frozen heart. <laughs> well, let's get home. All this New Year's prep has me- Did you see how smoothly that car went around the corner? Oh. Interesting. Will you tell me about the curse? It just seems like I should be doing something to help. Just by being yourself. Seriously, more than you know. I don't think I should tell you anything more. Yeah, you I'm really, sorry. really shouldn't. Protect the girl's innocence. I feel like I understand more about the Somas. And also, like, I don't understand anything. I still haven't officially met Akido. I wonder if I will someday. Do you really want to? <sighs> it's your fault if Hattori goes blind. <sighs> yeah, Fruits Basket has an antagonist. It's not the curse, it's, it's Akito. The literal worst. Gaslighting, manipulating, abusive. I mean, you, you heard what he said. You heard what he said. Like the, the you, you can't take Hattori from me. Oh, they added, they added the seahorse into the ending. Oh, well, um, just, oh, he just makes me so angry. The thing about the Soma clan is that, I mean, Hattori has said it, is that they are a clan. They are very large. And um, like, like I've been saying, and only 50 of them actually know the Soma secret, which is not that much considering there are 12 members of the actual zodiac and then like akito somewhere in there and and uh and then that means there's 38 other people who who know about the zodiac curse so that could easily just be the zodiac members and their families and maybe their servants or something because the somas are really well off so yeah a lot to unpack there i kind of forgot about hatori's backstory of course Many of you who caught my reaction to Kana's portrait on his desk for the first time, I was like, oh, this is about to get super ugly. Wow, Akito's voice actor was amazing. Like, like really, really good. So much so that like I got emotional and I was just kind of like, screw you. <laughs> like, interesting, like, I guess an interesting thing that I noticed in the manga and in the 2001 anime version is that Toru was leaving and she kind of just spotted Akito staring out of a window, kind of like 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 with his with his arm dangling like that. In this one, he literally like drove past her in a car, like being all being all slick or something. Like, what was the point of that? Just I I'm gonna get a, qu a quick glance at you before I leave. Cause I mean it, it was easy for the car to be noticed because literally no one was moving. And I mean, since the curse has sort of defined the Somas, I feel like for as, as long as it does, Akito being the head of the family and the fact that the Zodiac people live inside a gated community suggests that Akito really cherishes, or at least is really possessive over the members of the Zodiac, one of which being Hattori. You could literally hear his words, you think you can take Hattori from me. It's all your fault for getting in the way of, of Hattori. Outsider, if Hattori goes blind, it's your fault. And that really got to Kana, and I'm glad that Kana's happy, but it's like, that's the perfect romance, and the romance that will never be. Because of Akito's, I don't know, insecurities? Like, the possessiveness? Narcissistic personality disorder? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with Akito. Well, I kind of do, but it's still a mystery to me. I feel like Akito must have some sort of thinking disorder, like I mean, like maybe narcissistic personality disorder or, or something along that vein, or maybe he's just a sociopath, I'm not sure. This, like what he did with, with Kana and Hattori is like, he does far worse things. If you're wondering, like this anime is, is like a comedy feel good sort of thing, <sighs> I mean, there is an antagonist, a very dark, horrible person named Akito Soma. By the way, that'll be another thing. I will keep saying Akito because that's how it's been pronounced for me in my head in uh, and in the, in the 2001 remake. I, it seems like all of the names, except for Yuki and Kyo, because those two are two syllables um, and don't really have any, any consonants to like change, like the rur 
with Toru instead of Toru, Shigure instead of Shigure, but there are two members of the Zodiac whose names begin with A, and I'm pretty sure because of that, the focus on their names is on the first letter, the A, and uh, with Akito, like, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to adjust well, but with the other one, I don't know, because I've been pronouncing his name in a very American sort of way, I suppose. And I don't, I, if, if, if they change it, I really hope they don't, because I'd, I'll probably just go, oh crap, now I'm gonna have to learn this again. But anyway, we've got Shiguri's, like, sh by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sort of push Hattori's, Hattori's uh, vocal concerns about Shigure out of, out the window. They are best friends. They grew up together. They're the same age. Hattori is very left brain, but it's, I wouldn't say that, that Shigure is very right brain because he's also very logical and there's this melancholiness to him, this sadness. I, I would say, yeah, Hattori is very cold and logical. Shigure is like a mixture of, of logic and uh, passion because he's a novelist and he writes, you know, questionable romances. So yeah. Uh, I think that's it. So yeah, be sure to uh, like and ding the notification bell for notifications and subscribe. You don't have to, but it would be cool if you did. Please comment below on what you think of Hattori. I'll, I'll have like a little a little area where you can post manga spoilers without spoiling anybody else. The curse hits hard in certain episodes and this is one of them. So uh, thank you for staying and have a nice day.